Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see configuring Azure Load Balancer with Virtual Machine Skill Set. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal. Okay, first of all, I'm going to create a resource group. Here, type in resource group create the name would be test Azure LB VMSS you can repeat anything I am gonna place it in let's say central US tags now create it's going to create a resource group for me. Okay. Now I will create a resource here. So I am going to create a virtual network. I'll search virtual network. I will create it in this. I'm going to say test as a VNet. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to use the default subnet. I'm going to go with no bastion, no DDoS protection, no firewall. And create. It is submitting the deployment. It will create it in few seconds. It's in progress. This is a way you can see the deployment details of what is going on, right? So if you will click on inputs, it will show you the options that you have selected, right? And the outputs, and this is the template. The option that you selected, this is the template. So this is the template, this is the parameter file of the value and this is the script through which you can deploy so if you will click on start you can read more documentation and see how you can deploy the template okay you can download the template as well okay this is not about this okay let me i'll cover it in another video okay so it is downloaded template in the parameters file okay So you click here, the deployment is completed. You go on resource. So now we have a resource group. We have a virtual network, right? So now I will create a load balancer. Okay, I'm gonna type in a load balancer. I don't have one, I will click on create. All right, I am going to select my resource group, test Azure LBVMSS. This would be test Azure load balancer. I'm going to keep it central US. I'm going to go with public load balancer. I'm going to go with SKU. Uh, this regional load balancer. I will create a new public IP. I am going to go with no zone. I'm going to go with zone redundant. No, no, no. Routing preferences Microsoft. It reminds how your traffic routes between Azure and the internet selecting Microsoft. My Microsoft Global Network loses to user internet route option. Uh, tags, review, create. I'm going to click on create. It is submitting the deployment. Now it will, I will pause it and come back as soon as it is done. This is done. I'm going to click on go to resource. 
So now you see, I only have front end IP configuration, which is my load balancer front end IP. I do not have any backend pools. I do not have an health pro. I do not have a load balancing rule. Okay. So now I will create a virtual machine skill set. I'll find virtual machine skill set. I'll click on it. I'll click on add. I'm going to select my existing resource group. So VMSS. Central US. Okay, let's say I'm not no orchestration. I go with Windows. I go with this. This would be my username. Password. Uh, okay. I'm going to select premium disk. I'm not attaching an external disk. This is my virtual network that I have in this resource group. A network interface enables an Azure virtual machine to communicate with internet. Now load balancer, I'm going to integrate this uh, load balancer. Azure load balancer. This is my standard load balancer. I am going to create it. Scaling, I'm going to have two instance count in this virtual machine scale set. I'm going to go with manual scaling. Here also, I'm going to go with default. Everything default. And I will click on create. This will deploy a virtual machine scale set, which is a backend pool to the Azure load balancer that we created few minutes ago. It is submitting the deployment. Okay, so I'm going to pause uh, this video and come back after this is deployed. Okay, this is done. I'm going to click on go to resource. This is my virtual machine skill set. I'm going to click on instances. Health state is not coming. So I'm going to my test load balancer in the backend pool. I'm going to refresh it. We add a backend pool here. Backend pool. Sorry. This one. Virtual machine skill set. This is my virtual machine skill set. Let me see. Let me check it now. This is my, let me refresh it again. Okay, so now I have two instances. If you click on it, 
virtual machine skill set <clears throat> and if you go here you click on instances it is coming this so now the health state is not showing up so if you want to create a health state uh, this is your front end ip configuration this is your health proof this is your load balancing rule so if you will create a load balancing rule here click on add click on lb rule so your front end ip configuration would be the front end of your uh, load balancer let's say port 80 back end port also go for 80 back end pool select the back end pool you don't have a health probe okay i'm sorry you have to create a health probe first create a health probe tcp port 80 interval is five seconds unhealthy thresholds would be two and click on add Mm -hmm. submitting the deployment health probe is done I'm going to create a load balancing rule now I'm gonna do it like this and then the front end IP front end would accept on port 80 back end also would send the request on port 80 this is my back end pool this is my health probe idle timeout let's go for 15 tcp reset would be enabled okay this is also done now if i go back to my back end pool if i refresh it so now if you see that uh, my front end IP for this load balancer would be this, right? And the back end pool for this load balancer is my virtual machine scale set. Okay, so this is how you integrate the virtual machine scale set with Azure Load Balancer. So I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a great day.